Hello everybody, and um, today I'd like to show you how to FTP into an original Xbox. Step 1. You have to have an Ethernet cable or a wireless contact point. If you don't know what I mean, um, I'll show you. This is an Xbox and this is a wireless contact point. I, have, I, use, I personally use an Asus 330GE, although you can connect to the Ethernet port of your Xbox from your computer directly into there if you wanted to and connect that way. Which is all fine and dandy, do what you want, whatever works for you. Next you want to turn on your soft modded Xbox. Alright, now um, obviously you, you know that you need to soft mod your Xbox beforehand because if you have just a regular unmodded Xbox you can't FTP in for logical reasons. Microsoft didn't want you to do this originally. So just boot into whatever dashboard you have. I have Unleash X. And look in the bottom right of your screen. That will be your IP address. Um, we're going to use that in a few moments. But that's just the easiest way to find your internal IP address. This is never your actual IP address. It's just your IP address like on your local network. Now, in order to get all of your information for to set up FTP, you need to go under System settings, then you need to go down to network, and pretty much, alright, your IP address is listed up there too, that's important. Um, you want to scroll down, so you see it says FTP server, it says enable, um, the user is always Xbox and the password is always Xbox, and the port is 21, and you know those those few things are pretty much all you care about. FTP, yes, Xbox, Xbox, port 21. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to open up an FTP so FTP software. For me, since I'm using a Mac, I I use CyberDuck. You can use Flash XP or a few other things if you have a PC. But I personally just use CyberDuck because it just works best for me. So you want to open connection. By default, it puts your username there, just get rid of it. Um, you have to make sure it's under FTP File Transfer Protocol, because that's what FTP stands for, File Transfer Protocol. Um, for the server, you just type in your IP address from your Xbox, which for me was 192.168.1.1. And for the username, I want to put Xbox, and for the password, I want to put Xbox. And I want to make sure I'm on port 21, then I hit connect. So when you're inside the Xbox, um, it'll give you all these. These are all different folders that you that are inside your Xbox. Um, like you see my Nopix, you know, for my Linux and stuff. Um, but the e, the e folder is where most of your stuff is. Like... E has all your apps and whatever. C partition has like all extra stuff. X does too. Y has save games and stuff. And Z just has maps and whatever. But E is typically where almost everything takes place. So, you know, for the sake of whatever, I think I'm going to drag something into E and then just show you that it transferred to my Xbox. Oh, what to pick, what to pick. Well, um, it doesn't really matter what I put onto there because FTP is just, you know, kind of a remote way of putting something onto your Xbox. But I think I'll just put this into my Xbox. What the hell? Pong. Um, that will tell you that your upload is complete. And if you go under E and you just look, you'll see pong.rtf. So, yeah, I transferred the file successfully. In order to find what you put onto your, what you just put onto your Xbox, uh, you want to go onto your File Explorer, and you know just open that up, hit A on your joypad, whatever. Um, you know, just go on under whichever directory you can actually read. Those are both the same directory, but you can see that I transferred pong.rtf into my Xbox. This is um, in, under my E folder. And I have the ability to delete or whatever with it. But um, this just proved that I FTP'd it into my Xbox via CyberDuck. So, 
that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, um, in case anybody didn't really know how to do that, um, I hope it helped you. And good luck.